Hey, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. So, uh, yesterday I finished up making this little coupler to go on the uh, work table sawmill. And uh, the intention to put the threaded rod in there and then attach a sprocket and then have that sprocket work with the chain uh, to drive this threaded rod here, or the lead screw. But it occurred to me overnight, why don't I just put this on here? At least as a test, I can verify that the motor's going to be powerful enough, it moves at the right speed, and so on and so on. So I just did that. And yes, this motor will drive at 12 volts. It'll drive the sawmill carriage just a little too fast. Now, I say a little too fast, that might depend a little bit on the uh, type of wood and the thickness of the cut I'm making. And it occurred to me, I really do need to have some variable speed control of this motor. So just putting it on like this is not going to work. Uh, the, the motor itself is probably good. In fact, I'd probably want to run it with a little bit higher current than the power supply that I have been testing with. Uh, but uh, I do need to have um, the ability to control the speed. So although you see my drill is not ideal in terms of holding on to things, it actually does a really good job. So I might go back to that kind of mechanism. I have my eye on a, no a motor, courtesy of uh, John, which I might try and pick up coming out of a little toy car uh, that does have some speed control. But um, I'll probably figure that on another day. In the meantime, I'm going to finish up this log using the drill. Uh, at least I do get consistent cuts using the drill uh, to drive the carriage. Gives me nice even cuts and I do have control of the speed. Do get a little bit of hand cramping, <laughs> but it does work. So I'm going to finish up this piece of log here on the mill today. Uh, just using the drill and um, keep looking for a variable speed control. So we'll probably put the automation on hold for now, at least in terms of uh, speed control. We'll continue using the drill for most of these cuts. Another uh, really nice cut using just the drill, so I'm going to call this the semi-automated uh, work table sawmill because I am using the drill and I have to control that by hand, but it gives a nice consistent cut. Uh, I have this suggestion <coughs> to try and cut veneer. So as an experiment here, I'm just going to drop the blade just a quarter of an inch, allowing for an eighth of an inch for the uh, blade itself. That should produce a piece an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm going to see if I can cut two strips of veneer. Not that I'm going to use cedar veneer, but it would be interesting just to see how it works. And then we'll make uh, one more uh, five quarter cut through here uh, to give me two five quarter pieces out of the bottom part. So let's try some veneer. I'll put you on time lapse for that. Question, can we cut veneer? So here is a 1 8 inch strip. It was very consistent all the way down. I did have one little glitch in about here where the battery ran out of, uh, the battery ran out on the drill, so I had to stop and make a change. Apart from that though, when we get down to this end, look at that, we got another 1 8 of an inch. That is 
That's a perfect cut. So can we do veneer? Yes, absolutely. Would I want to make veneer out of cedar? I doubt it, but technically it's doable. So I think I'm not going to do another quarter inch or another uh, one eighth inch strip. I'm just going to do five quarter, five quarter, and then I have a little bit left over. It's right at the pith that I'll probably just make into half inch pieces or a half inch thick or something. Anyway, that's that's what I'm going to do at this point. Just um, uh, another five quarter cut, and then we'll see where we go from there. taking off five quarter cut. That'll leave about an inch right through the pith of that should be nicely quarter sawn wood when we take a section out of here and out of here. We'll just get rid of that pith. So on we go. I'll put you on time lapse for this last cut. the raw yield that we get out of that log just some uh, beautiful straight cuts really pleased with the uh, cutting of the mill and even this 1 8 inch uh, piece of veneer is a test won't keep that as veneer or it probably become firewood but uh, interesting to cut that and learn what it can do our center bit where we have the pith Expecting to cut that right down here and down here, and we have just some beautiful quarter sawn wood. This side is clear. I mean, clear quarter sawn. That's just beautiful stuff. And the rest is five quarter, um, which I'll take to the table saw next and just kind of trim that up into more dimensional lumber. But really pleased with the result of that. Our upcoming project for use of this cedar wood is an outdoor dining table. A round one to boot. So I'll probably do another log, maybe two, uh, before we're ready to actually start building that. But that's, I'll call that a video for today, a little short. A little disappointed that the motor didn't work the way that I wanted. Um, haven't given up, but I'll keep hunting around and we'll do updates from time to time, but I'll kind of get back into the furniture building and get uh, to a motor when we find something suitable. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.